Has it hit you that it's your last game yet? Yeah, I feel like it hit me after the Pac-12 Championship. It was like, man, I only got one more. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm just, I'm just for super fortunate. I'm just taking this time and enjoying all the pageantry and all the stuff that's going on with the Rose Bowl, and I'm just super blessed to be here. What, what, I mean, what does this program mean to you? Man, you me, back yeah, I mean, it means the world to me. It's given me so many opportunities in life, uh, on the field and off the field. It's helped me grow as a man, as an individual person. It's, it's just done a lot for me. I, I, I owe this university so much. I owe this, the state of Oregon, the city of Eugene. Uh, everything. I, I owe them my life, really, because they, they've done a lot for me and I've done a lot for them, but uh, they've done way more than for me than I've done for them. What's the hardest part about like transitioning when you come from Southern California and moving up there? Is that something you had to help them out with? This Man, year? I'll tell you what, <laughs> the rain, <laughs> especially in rolling early, because when I first got up there, i never forget it. It rained two weeks straight when I first got up there, and I would call my mom. I was like, man, I knew it rained, but I didn't know it rained like this. Like, you ain't tell me it rained like this. So, I mean, when you got guys like Kayvon or Michael Wright or just DJ Jane coming from Mobile, Alabama, you got guys coming from Georgia and stuff like that, I mean, you got to just tell them, like, hey, man, like, it's, it, it does suck during the winter at times because it's cold, it's rainy, but, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, every, every different part of the country has their, has their downfalls. But, I mean, the summertime is beautiful. The spring is beautiful. I mean, those two seasons are unbeatable. You can't beat those anywhere else. I mean, the color, but, I mean, the pollen in the spring, though, is vicious, man. It is vicious. It gets you. I don't even have allergies, but it hits me every year. Like, my face swells up. Like, I can't breathe. But, I mean, it's worth it because you, you look at the trees, the flowers, all that, and you're like, man, this is beautiful as heck. Like, you, you always see stuff in movies, like, coming from Southern California. Like, you look outside, and this is buildings and, and burnt trees, and you're just like, man, like, this is not fun because when you get up there and see all the all the beautiful green and all the different colors, it's, it's super awesome and super cool. Is it a? Uh, I mean, how like surreal is it seeing you know the top player from Southern California in back to back classes now coming to Oregon and kind of what that says about you guys were able to do you know bringing kids out yeah. here? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like that that's a, a tribute to the coaches and, I, and a tribute to the, the recruiting because. I mean, you, you have to go down the recruit, you have to come down because this is a hotbed of talent. And uh, they've done a really good job. I mean, Kayvon, I mean, Justin, I mean, you know, IE boys, me and Justin. So can't, can't be too upset about that. But I'm just super blessed to be, be part of this program. And I'm just super excited for the future and moving forward because I know there's a lot of good pieces coming in. And, and I know Coach Ellis is going to do a really good job. Yeah, what was the most impressive part about his year as a freshman? Especially coming on in the second half, like he did. Yeah, I just feel like the way he stepped up and, and, and filled into his role. I mean, a lot of young guys kind of get stuck in the spotlight and they'll, and they'll get lost in the shuffle. But I feel like he he tipped his nose to the grindstone and just kept working really hard and he did his job and he never got outside of the framework of the defense to try to do too much and try to be a Superman type thing. He played beside his 111th and, and he's making money out there. He's doing his thing. He he's making plays and that's all you can ask. Does Wisconsin remind you of anybody as far as maybe somebody you guys have played so far? Or? No, Wisconsin's a really good team. And I don't think we've seen anybody like it, so there's a lot of challenges that we haven't, we haven't been faced, and uh, we're, looking, we're looking forward to it. Um, how important is being a leader for this team, and at what point during your time at Oregon did you realize or take on a leadership role? I realized really early that I had to step up and be a, an emotional, vocal, and a... And a a visual leader, and I had to show a lot of guys. But I mean, I feel like I play a small role. I mean, I don't think I play a huge role. I think everybody leads themselves. We have a lot of mature guys on this team, and everybody's kind of self-motivated. And uh, we do we do things, and we do it as a team, we do it as a group. And uh, I'm just really looking forward to the future. And how do you manage to, to dial that energy you have, where you're having fun, having a blast, the life of the party, one minute, and the next minute when you're on the field, it's all business and. and Ready to play. I feel like that's where I was brought up. My parents always told me to enjoy everything, be where your feet are, and just and just have fun with life. But at the end of the day, when you have to when you have to work, you have to work. There's no way around it. You can't you can't cheat the grind. You, you really can't because when you cheat it, you're gonna get you're gonna get hit in the face really hard. So I feel like uh, when you respect the game, the game respects you. And I, I feel like we've done a really good job this year as a team.